What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to hopefully help you guys beat that level 35 Prison of Elders Arena boss Scullus with that arc burn piece of shit so damn hard it's unbelievable so me and a couple of buddies were on that shit that level 35 Prison of Elders boss Scullus with that pain in the ass arc burn for at least a couple of hours before we got it down now we figured in the end what was needed to be done to kill him in the shortest time possible as this is the best option it really is. Now what you are seeing on screen now is that very fight where we do make it look easy but trust me guys it really ain't. Also not realising at the time of playing but if it would have took a split second longer this would have been another wipe making it an insane clutch. But I'll tell you about that in a sec. But let's talk about and discuss class setups and the technique needed. Now this technique only works with at least one titan and it will take you for sure at least four or five attempts for you to do this because the success of this method depends on the spawn point of that first mine. It needs to spawn to the right of you. So the basics, let's talk about weapons. You need arc damage weapons for sure, obviously. Primaries, Fang of Eryut or Fatebringer. Secondary, you want the FOD Spear or the LDR. Both need to have arc and preferably final round. Heavy, I'll go with Thunderlord or Song of Eryut. Me personally, I don't have an Aphrodite Spear or an LDR, so I chose the Shadow of the Veils, which is the Fallen POE Sniper Rifle, which does, as you can see on screen, pack a decent punch. Now, technique is what everyone does. Once you are in the room, you head left and take out that Servitor. Titan drops a bubble with weapons of light. All of you guys need to pick a position, one on the left, one on the right, and one in the center of the bubble. You want to use your snipers first, then switch to primaries until it gets close, so you can use your heavy, making the most of all your heavy ammo. But like I said though, you really need the point to spawn next to you. When this does happen though, eventually, when that mine spawns to the right of you guys, one person preferably, the guy on the right of the shield, needs to stop shooting the boss and concentrate on the enemies that spawn to the right, while the other two players keep hitting that boss. As you can see in the video, I do this, I take out the guys that spawn on the right, and eventually you will do it. I would say it's as simple as that, but it isn't quite simple. Now what made this so clutch is that I got the devouring essence and didn't even realise it. It got to one second left before we killed the boss. A second longer I would have died, meaning the mine I had to dismantle and the enemies I was keeping at bay could have ruined it all. And I didn't even realise this until watching the video back of how actually close this really was. But guys, that is a technique I use. Um, just keep trying, eventually you will do it. But like I said, you really want that point to spawn next to you guys and one person when that point does spawn next to you guys needs to start shooting at the enemies that spawn on your right while the other two guys concentrate on putting damage into that boss and weapons like I said do really matter you need powerful high impact arc damage sniper rifles and the Fang of Eryu or the Fate Bringer. And it's as simple as that. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it does help you out. If you could drop a like, I would appreciate the support as it really does help out. Thanks for stopping by as always. And peace out until next time. Peace.